Hi guys and welcome to another Aromatherapy Thursday. Today I'll be talking about travel tips with oils. So everybody tends to be traveling around the holiday season and it's important that you have the right supplies and you bring the right things and we boost our immunity in the correct way. So that's what I'll be talking about today. So tip number one, bring the right supplies. This is super crucial. This will make or break your trip. By right supplies, I mean oils, I mean diffuser, I mean all the Thieves products, which includes the oil itself, the, um, the wipes, the waterless hand purifier. Um, it includes the roller bottle that you made with the Thieves in it, the Thieves throat spray. This is a really great one. Um, I buy these on Amazon, the empty amber bottles. I put about 10 drops of the Thieves oil in here. I fill the rest with water. And this is a great way to take it internally to boost your immunity throughout the entire trip, not just in the beginning, super important. So this is a great way. Um, besides all the Thieves products, you wanna make sure that you're bringing all the sprays that you want, all the roller bottles that you've made, um, all of the creams and lotions that you've used. This is one of my favorite ways. I always bring this when I travel, use it in the morning, uh, before bed at night. I have a pain relief cream, I have a sleepy time cream, and in a separate video, I'll put the DIY recipes for all of those different types of things. But for the purpose of this video, just remember it's important to have all of those things with you when you travel so that you can get the best out of your experience, you can stay healthy and stay feeling great the entire trip. All right, tip number two, travel compact and be organized. So this is important. So you want to make sure that you have a designated area in your carry-on bag, in your purse or whatever that holds your oils and the oil related products. So this is my favorite travel bag. I think I got it off Amazon or Etsy or something. The bottom is flat and it opens up pretty wide. And so I'm able to put my hand sanitizer, my cough drops, empty capsules. You always want to bring empty capsules because the vitality oils that you want to take internally, this is a great way to do it, or under your tongue, in your tea. So you just separate it and you put a couple drops of the oil, three or four for an adult dosage. And then you put the top back on the capsule and you take it with some water. So I like to bring a little, um, a little carry on container and I'll put that in the bottom of here as well. Some of the oils that I really like to take that I'll put in here include grapefruit. Grapefruit is great. <laughs> grapefruit is great for water retention. So I'll put a couple drops in a stainless steel water bottle and I'll drink it throughout the flight. It helps with that bloat. Frankincense. Frankincense is just the king of all oils and it's good for everything. If you don't know what to use for what, frankincense is a good bet. Um, immune boosting helps with sleep, helps overall wellness, cuts, scrapes, a lot of things. Um, tea tree or melaleuca. That's what it's the name of tea tree is melaleuca. And I like to make a roller bottle out of melaleuca. So I'll put about eight to 10 drops. This is a 10 mil roller bottle of tea tree and I'll fill the rest with the carrier oil. So sometimes that's fractionated coconut oil. Sometimes that's grapeseed oil, jojoba oil, whatever you prefer. And I use it as a spot treatment for my acne. So there's nothing worse than knowing you have to pose for a holiday family photo and you have a huge zit on your face. So tea tree will help dry that right up for you. Stress Away or Valor, I don't have Valor on me at the moment, but Stress Away is a really great oil to help reduce the stress. Valor is great for confidence, um, helps reduce anxiety. If you have travel anxiety, these are some really great oils you'll wanna take with you to make you feel more comfortable as you travel. Digize, I talked about this on my last video. You can put this on your tummy, rub it on topically. You can put it on your tongue. I don't like the taste, but everybody's different. So if you're that person, you don't like the taste of the fennel, whatever else, put it in an empty capsule, take it with some water. Um, this is great if you have any kind of tummy upset, heartburn, stuff like that. Peppermint and lavender, sometimes I'll pair it with lemon as well. I love diffusing this in the room. Um, when I bring my diffuser with me. This is a really great one. I just buy it on Amazon, 14, 15 bucks. And it's it's kind of compact and I just put it in my room, super easy to use. So lavender and peppermint. Peppermint keeps the air crisp, keeps it smelling good. Lavender helps relax you. It's a great duo. Lemon's also good as well. I like to add that to the pair. Okay, I think those are all the oils. So um, tip number three 
If you don't have your diffuser, you forgot it at home, that's okay. Um, a couple tips for that. Steam shower, uh, put a couple drops in the palm of your hand of whatever oil you want to invigorate the room with. Breathe it in. The steam from the shower, it really carries the aroma throughout the room. I love doing that with eucalyptus when I shower. Um, cotton ball in the air vent. So if you forgot your diffuser, this is another great way to get the aroma in the air. So put a couple drops of the oil on the cotton ball, on a tissue, uh, crumple it up, put it in the air vent, and it kind of, it's not as good as a diffuser by any means, but it still carries the aroma a little bit, so you're still getting that scent. Um, spray the essential oils on your pillow. So this is another great way to do that. Um, the one I buy on Amazon comes with like a set of six of these or something. So it's super great. Bang for your buck. Let's say you want to make a sleepy time spray. You forgot your diffuser, but you have your lavender with you. Um, put a couple drops, uh, 10 drops or so of lavender, um, cedar wood, Northern Lights Black Spruce is really good for that. Uh, fill the rest with water. And this is great to spray on your pillow, on your sheets even on your clothes so it doesn't smell like travel. Um, these little spray bottles are, are super great. Just make sure you're complying to the, you know, the, the rule with the airline, how, much you, how many liquids you can carry and things like that. So tip number four, this is the last tip. Don't forget your tools or your reference guide. So for me, my favorite reference guide is the Essential Oils Pocket Reference Guide 7th Edition. So this is from the Life Science Publishing Company. The website is discoverlsp.com. They have a lot of great reference products, but this one is one of my favorites for traveling because it's compact. It fits in my carry-on. In the beginning of it, it'll list ailments, um, headaches, high blood pressure, insomnia, insect bites, whatever your issue is, and it'll direct you to a certain page. And on that page, it'll list oils that'll be helpful for that issue, how to use them, how often to use them. There's also an app you can download if you don't have the actual um, physical copy. So those are the four tips for traveling with oils. Bring the right supplies, travel compact and be organized, don't have a diffuser, no problem. And number four, don't forget your tools and your reference guide. So I hope that was helpful for you. In my next video next week, I will uh, break down some of my favorite DIY recipes, lotions, sprays, roller bottles. Um, I hope this was helpful. This has been another Aromatherapy Thursday. Please join me next week and enjoy your travels.